Canada, hey, what's up? Hey, bud, how's it going? Hi, hi, Kim. Beautiful job. Don't pick on Kim. She keeps your ass straight, which well, is she, good. She runs everything. She, I couldn't do this without the loan. It's beautiful. Wolf. She Anyways, is spectacular. In fact, you... in fact, she is so spectacular. I am going to count all the money in the drawer right now, and I'm buying her a ticket to Canada where she can run this show from Canada with you. You, already, you did take the do money it, out of the drawer, it, didn't it. you? I knew that there was money. Store, dude. You're... And you'll have your order for oh, okay. You took the money out, so I get my advanced nutrients order. That's fine. So I'm sending her to Canada right now. Okay, bring it on. I'll, I'll send you updates. She'll send you updates. She won't send me updates. We'll never see her again. Anyway, I was She's just... The best. I know you're not an indoor sh or outdoor show, but I sent you some pictures about my plants outside, right? And I'm going to be cloning in a, like a week or two. I'm getting it all set up to clone. You're breaking up a lot on your show with my phone. Okay. I was um, just listening. So you're telling me that about the outside, you sent me some pictures. Um, I don't seem to have them at the moment. When did you send on them? Oh, on Facebook. Oh, yeah, see. Yeah. Sorry, bud. See if you make. I'm not too uh, computer savvy. I see don't know I... what your blog is all about and everything. If but I... you know what? I love this competition, and I'm going to wait till like July 28th to put in my response. I think that's clever. We'll do it like an eBay auction where everything happens right at the end. Oh, totally. Okay. You're on it. You're on it. Yeah. Okay, let me, uh, I'm trying to find my Facebook uh, and my Messenger. I got to go. Usually the lone wolf answers these things for me on the messages and stuff. So I don't do uh, yeah, yeah. stuff. Okay, so this is Canada A, but I don't, is it, Robert, is this you? Hold on a second. What's, what's your name? Yeah, yeah, that's me. It is Robert. Did I did not send you the recent one? Okay, yeah, this yeah, is Robert. We yeah. Got you. Okay. okay. All right. So I'm looking at the pictures. Oh look. Yeah, he's got undergrowth. So I can do four in Canada. Hallelujah. But what I did is I started them inside your way with like a little bit at a time. I thought I was pointing too much, and uh, those are great. You straightened me out on that. that looks I really good. pulled the, the outer branches into the into the top. There you go. Much better. Oh yeah. Yeah, right. these things. Yeah, oh, these that, plants. That looks good. Yeah, I, I, you know, and I would like. To, oh, I know what. There's a whole. I was wondering how you kept it so short, and so wide. But how many plants Brought are? It. It, it. It's just one plant in that circle, Pardon right? Me, That's just four plants, right? It's one plant per bucket. Dude, yeah, it's four plants. So good. That's just so good. He's listening. No, he's not listening. He's growing outdoors, and magic is outdoors. Robert's going to win. He's yes, growing magic, outdoors. But I it's put magic. A, I, put a cup, I put a cup of the boss in it. Like, it's straw, right? Yeah. It's like, sorry, see a green. I'm weaving them through. I, gave them, I don't give them no more than what you say in the, in the charts, what you do with your charts. My charts and, are indoors. how much PPM. But my charts are indoors. Oh, man. It's, it's, it's spectacular. So, yes, I'll be cloning in like two to three weeks, and then I will show you my indoor. I got my root riot. I got my, my pro mix. I, whatever, whatever the, whatever I got and my, uh, yeah, stuff. And I'll show you from there, but to get a healthy crop indoor, I need a healthy crop outdoor or something. I can't get clones where I am. Oh yeah. Just take, listen, so I'm making my you own. can take a clone indoor or outdoors. That's all great. But it's the guys who are like dragging their plants outdoors and then trying to bring them back in. And then you guys ask me questions. You don't even know what you're doing. So there's no way I can answer. But these plants no, are I fantastic. Don't know. I, don't, I don't need to ask you any questions. And yeah, not I, with I'm these plants. I'm going to be getting cloned. Not with these plants. But I would definitely get rid of that undergrowth. put them together. I would definitely get rid of that undergrowth. You've already answered all my questions. Kill that undergrowth. Get rid of that undergrowth. Yeah, it's already gone. Well, the problem is that bugs like clover. So you put the clover um, in there, and suddenly spider, the clover is eating the nutrients, and the and the bugs attract to the clover. 
Okay, well, the end plant, my, 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 my strain, sorry, that I crossed, because it grows spectacularly, um, it's like got stupid amount of tops. That has nothing. That has no clover. That has no, no nothing, no uh, wheatgrass, no nothing growing in it. The other ones do. And I found caterpillars this morning on the lower growth, re reaped it out, okay? Not on the clover, though. So I'm eliminating bugs. Up top, in between the two uh, sea of green scrogs, I there's spiders galore. Not spider mites, but spiders. But yeah, it's it, outdoors. This doesn't matter. This it's is outdoors. Just my outdoor, okay? Bugs, bugs love outdoor. I bugs. want to show you in about three weeks when I bring the clones that I get inside. Now I, I can do, I can do sixteen in a in a four by four. I can do nine. I can do whatever. Well, plant count is based on veg time, but these plants look correct. These plants are fantastic. They are awesome. Congratulations, Thank you. Robert. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And that's with your help. I'm not, uh, like, seriously, I would not have these unless it was from you. Seriously. I appreciate I that. I would not. I, they, would be, they would be dead, burnt, and they would be overwatered, and they'd be fucking nuked to shit. Yeah. Okay. A, a little now, bit I've at known, a time, right? I've known you for quite a while now. So let me ask you, let me yes. ask you a, a semi-personal question. Hold on, let me turn down the fan. Hold on a second. Oh, it's 100, 100 degrees out here. Sorry, go ahead. So let me ask you a semi-personal question. These plants okay. look fantastic. You have a long history of doing a lot of stuff and silly stuff. Going forward, what do you think your biggest yes. obstacles are to this outdoor grow? What do you think that you're going to have to overcome to continue to do a good job? Um, I have my cup of coffee in the morning with them, and then I walk away. So overcoming the part of, oh, it's, it needs this, it needs that, it needs this, no. Uh, I give it like 300 ppms. I mix it in big barrels. I give it once a week. Like in that, it doesn't even need it. It's like 80 gallons of soil. But anyways, um, it's, I have a tent over it where the rain doesn't come down. The only thing I have to do is wait to clone and bring them inside. I want like seven seven fingers on each leaf for my clones. I don't <coughs> want five, I don't want three, I want seven. Well, listen, you're gonna get it, you deserve it. I don't know why you want seven, oh, but, I don't, totally. but it doesn't even matter. You're gonna get it because that's what you want and these plants look great. Really what I was getting at was, Thank you. really what I was getting at was the, um, the the number one thing that you have to uh, avoid is doing too much. Yes. Yeah, you have to resist the temptation. Yes, sir. But these plants look phenomenal. I, I would not suggest another trellis. You may have to wrap them in a well, in two or three months. I'm, but I'm you'll... bringing them out. I'm bringing them out six feet wide, and then I'll. I'll top them when they come out to six feet, and then I'll let them grow into the second trellis. The only reason the second trellis is there is because I already know the buds are going to be substantial. But they only have four feet to grow, so I have to scrog it out. I have to take it out. Further. I get the scrog. I get the scrog. But how long in Can how long in Canada until they start flowering? Uh, September fifteenth, they should start flowering. So. So what I'm getting at, what I'm getting, I see where you put the second scrog. Um, I like the first yeah. scrog. They're going to get huge, dude, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Four plants. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get four pounds of plant. I already know. Easily. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I was going to say 20 pounds. I was going to say 20 pounds, and then I was going to say, go. There you go. why are you growing indoors? You're going to have I'll tank. keep it going till next, for next year. Like, I know it takes a year or whatever. I'll keep them going till June 6th, and I'll put my four outside again. I love it. What's in the fish tank in the back of the picture? Uh, the fish tank has actually my worm. Uh, I go and buy a dozen worms a week and throw, a, like, four dozen worms a week. And I throw one in each, and then I throw the uh, worm boxes in my fish tank, and the rain 
drips down, washes it out, and I'll use that in my uh, sprayer. What's with the citronella candle? I don't know. It's nothing. What's with the citronella Pardon? candle? Because uh, we have a bitch of mosquitoes out here. All right. You're doing a good job. Yeah, well, keep, I, sending, it, keep sending me pictures. Okay. You're doing a yep, good job. Yep. Yes, sir. Let me get I, back to the show. I will. I'll send you an update. Okay.